All right, I am chugging along with my makeup collection videos and we are doing my complexion collection. So think foundations, concealers, powders, all that jazz. We are delving into that. This, draw, this collection will probably be the shortest one because I try not to collect too many complexion products. I like to keep it manageable. I do kind of get a bit of anxiety with foundations if I have too many bottles open. And this is probably the one category of product that I actually finish. <laughs> When I enjoy something, I use it and use it and use it, unless of course it's super expensive and then I don't want to buy it in the near future. But anyway, I, I digress. Let's go into my drawers and see the complexion products that I have. So I'm doing complexion and I'm also doing like finishing sprays and primers and things like that. As always, guys, I know that this is definitely a lot more than the average person has, but it's also a lot less than some people. But I'm a collector, I'm a junkie. I quite enjoy this stuff. This is my hobby and passion. So I'm aware that I have a lot more that I need. I'm by no means saying you need to have this much. But with my complexion products, being the skin tone that I am, I find that a lot more of the offerings for me available are in the mid to high range, and that tends to be why I gravitate towards that. A lot of the drugstore brands that are on offer here do not actually have product for my shade or deeper, so let's just clear that out. But yeah, first up, you can see glaring at us, I've got the Huda Beauty um, foundation I did do a first impressions and feature this I was a bit concerned with the color of this one I just thought it was a bit light I was matched to this one with all the foundation shades that I used this is what they matched me to it does dry a bit darker and I think in the winter time it definitely does fit it is very thick it's very full coverage it's okay maybe be might be decluttering this only because there's a lot more foundations coming out that I want to try and have. I've got quite a few samples off camera, you guys probably can't see, but off camera I've got quite a few sample pots of different foundations that I'm more excited to try. So probably gonna be decluttering this, but this is the shade Chocolate Mousse 450G. Also, the Huda's products are really from fragrance. I don't know why she does that. Then I have my Too Faced Born This Way foundation. This was the, this is the shade Chias. This is part of the extension of shades that Jackie Aina did when she collabed with Too Faced. I did hear good things about this, but obviously I wanted, there wasn't my shade there. So went for Chai, that's what this one looks like. I really enjoyed this. I wear this as a sort of everyday kind of foundation. It's on the medium, more medium coverage kind of side. Or free, it's just a really nice everyday foundation for me really. So I've been enjoying that. Then I've got the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation absolutely love this this is in my collection at the moment this is probably my favorite foundation i have also stopped using it for a little while just because i noticed that i was running out you will probably see because it's been on its side but i'm almost out of this one <laughs> so i've just stopped using it a bit because i'm not ready to spend 70 dollars buying another one <laughs> that's literally why obviously i don't mind i did spend that 70 but it's in the shade macau it's quite busted up but it's been well loved the finish i get on my skin is amazing always get compliments on this but i also am really happy with the way my skin looks when i wear this so shade macau really love this foundation gorgeous gorgeous the next i've got the dior foundation um this is the dior backstage this one, I feel like I've not had a chance to take to it as much as everyone else is raving about it. It's not a bad foundation at all. I like it, but I feel like I've not had the time to consistently use it and develop a love for it. It's been on the back burner a lot. So I think I'm wanting to finish one of the foundations I have, then I really want to get into this properly. There is like 50 mils in here as well. And I think because you really have to build this one up, it's a bit of a deterrent for me when I want to just run out the door with a bit more full coverage. But... It is super handy, super small, and for once Dior has not excluded skin tone, so that is a bonus. And then another foundation is the Benefit Hello Happy one. This one I've actually been using a lot more in my day to day, especially when I'm running late and I just want to quickly have a wash of colour on my face. It's soft blur, pretty much soft, um, soft sheer coverage. Shade 9, there are about 10 shades, so from shade 9 you can imagine what 10 shades are. I've done an, a review on this already and I've given my opinion on it. As foundations go, it's okay. Coverage wise, it's sheer coverage. I know what it is. That's what, I, that's what I've signed up for. It's just good for, like I said, just even your skin tone, a bit more of a wash of color. I was initially gonna declutter it, but since I've been using it, I think I'll probably just finish it up. So that's all my foundations currently. 
then I have done quite a bit of a decato on foundations too. Then we've got concealers. This is currently my favourite concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way. I absolutely love this one. I'm using the shade Maple. It The applicator, just the amount, a little goes a long way. The formula, it's amazing. Really love this concealer. I've got the ColourPop one. It's okay. I don't hate it, but it's not my favourite. This is the shade. I don't even know if the shade is still here. I think it's rubbed off. So I can't even tell you guys. That's the label on the side. It's rubbed off, so I can't even tell you what shade it is. Um, but it's okay. It's good for I've it's good for um it's pretty cream like liquid and creamy, but it's really good for like um eye makeup though. It's good for cut creases and stuff, so I think I keep it around for that, but I'll probably declutter it as well. It's okay, it's not my favourite, but it's okay. I much prefer it to like the NARS Radiant Creamy though. I've got some powders, so I've got the Too Faced Born This Way powder. This one I've got in the shade Translucent Medium, so I do use this for my under eyes to set the concealer i really appreciate the packaging on this one the fact that you not only have a lid you have a sifter and not only do you have a sifter they've given you a lid for the sifter which means you pretty much get no mess packaging it's fantastic and now when i use other powders i'm like where's my where's my lid for my sifter i love this and um, the only thing is if you use too much it does actually give you flashback and they do market it as no flashback but there is flashback with this so just be warned then I have this is quite new. I got this as part of the Christmas set for Ray Morris. And this is her Invisible Mattifier. I've been actually liking this. I know it's basically like a chunk of silicone, but I've been liking it. I'm oily skin. It's been helping control my oars. It is quite weird to use, but I use it with the brush that they recommended it for. It wasn't not cheap by any means, but I've been liking it. And then I've also got a lot of uh, a few bits of hourglass here. I've got the Veil Prime Powder. The translucent veil this one is pretty famous in the community at the moment i've got the mini i'm not spending 70 something upwards on a powder that i don't know whether i like or not so i've been have using the mini i've been quite enjoying this as well my sheen in terms of oil control that's not really what it's there for but it's been okay it hasn't really added to it but it hasn't taken away but i do like the finish it gives my skin I do not think I'll be buying a bigger size. If I do really enjoy it after, I might buy another mini. I've got the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powder. This is the only one I have. It is, again, a mini. Hourglass products are not cheap by any means. So the fact that they give you minis, I really appreciate. And because a lot of the time, you're not going to finish products. But this is the mini in dim light. I've really been enjoying it. It's definitely not the mini you would think would go with my skin tone, but... I like it. The other one I want is Radiant Light, but that's got a lot more shimmer and glitter in it. So this one, it looks quite scary on my finger, but when it's blended out on my skin, I've actually used it to set my face before, and it gives me the most gorgeous finishing glow. Just a subtle glow, but it looks quite pale on my hand. But when I use it, especially on the high points of my face, absolutely gorgeous. So I've been using this quite a bit the it's no longer pointy at the top it's quite flattened i've taken it traveling i've quite enjoyed it so when this finishes i'll probably get this in big size then next i've got the color pop no filter sheer press powder i hardly use this i was going to use this as a blotting powder but i already have a mac blotting powder that i keep in my handbag this is in the shade dark it's okay but i'll probably de declutter this soon i think it's cool as a blotting powder but I just don't really reach for it. Natasha Denona's contour powder. I did a big, I keep mentioning this, but I did do a big declutter. I did have a contour kit, but in a contour kit, you usually only use one, the highlight shade, one contour shade, one highlight shade. So I was like, why not just buy the powder instead? And I much prefer the powder. So this is the shade Deep, number five. And I think she's added another shade to this on the deeper side. I really love mine. It is absolutely gorgeous, really finely milled, great size mirror. I've used this traveling as well just for the mirror. I really like it. Like I said, I have the one shade I need and this will last me ages. Then I have my bronzer. This is the Galan Terracotta bronzer. I've been loving this one. This is in the shade nine intense. You can't really get it here. I got this in the Galan store in Paris on Champs Elysees. And this one is well loved, as you can see by the packaging, and then I've hit pan. Just finishing this up, and then I haven't decided whether I'll repurchase it or try another bronzer. 
even though my options aren't that great. And then I've got this MAC concealer palette, which when I first got it was all I can use. Now I have other concealers, I don't really reach for it, so it probably should go, just completely go. But um, this, this time when I bought this, I was so chuffed with myself because I was correcting. I was mainly, it just looks disgusting, guys, I'm sorry, but I was using color correcting. This is my concealer shade, and then I had all the others. I was using this for contour. Don't really use this anymore, so it probably should just completely go. But this was the Correct and Conceal palette. A lot of people slept on this. It's a really good palette. So that's it for the draw. Moving on to like my um, finishing sprays. So I've been working my way through my backup lot of finishing sprays because over Christmas time I did buy quite a few and I did I got like lots of sets so I really try not to buy too many and just go through them. So first I've got my MAC Fix Plus um, matte. So I did, I got this, the scented ones, I really liked those so I just wanted to try this. I've been enjoying it but I don't think I'll repurchase it. I just prefer the original Fix Plus to be honest. The matte one's okay but I haven't really noticed any like super extending properties it is nice though to make my skin matte but i don't think it's necessary to repurchase it so i'll just stick with the normal fix plus got my tart chart dewy skin mist um i haven't opened this yet this is part of the christmas set this um especially when i open this it will only be i'll only be able to use it for six months so i'm just waiting to finish my other whichever spray i finish first then i'll let myself open this one heavy duty it's super expensive super heavy really excited that's really hyped then I've got the Mario Badescu spray. This is pretty cult status in the beauty community. Really affordable. This is the lavender one, but it's the mini size. And I've been enjoying the smell of this. I really enjoyed this one, especially just to refresh your skin. If you've been wearing makeup for quite a bit all day, maybe you want to go, maybe you've gone to work and you still want to go out. I like refreshing myself with this. You can pop it in your handbag. I like the smell. Once um, This one I'm really close to finishing as well. I like it also for bringing some dewiness back to my face without making me super, super like shiny. It's my sprays, so not too many, manageable amount. And I've got some primers. I'll just put that on in frame for you guys. So I'll start with this one. So this is part of my little set that I got the Tarcha spray with. This is a mini silk canvas primer. I've been using it. I've actually quite, quite, enjoy, I've been liking it. The only thing is because it's the mini, it doesn't come with the dime, the, the coin that you use to, to scoop it. So it is quite annoying having to use my finger in it a bit. But I've been liking it definitely as a base, like as smoothing over my skin or the texture of my skin and um, as like pr 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 as a barrier between my face and the makeup. So I've been liking that. I don't know about oil control properties, but I've been liking it for the other stuff. For glass primer when i first got into like high-end makeup i was buying this mini like all the time and then i got this again so once i finish this i won't repurchase though because i've like got other primers i want to try but it is a nice primer the sunscreen does give you a blue tint then i have a correcting primer which i'm almost out of this is the step one primer in shade caramel so this uh, um, put the mac palette in the back seat because i didn't need to now first of all get that product put it apply it then blend the then blend the corrector then prime then all that stuff so this kind of just does it all for me so it's correcting primer so i just put it in the areas i need it's super saturated as well so it's great I'll probably repurchase this when i'm out then these two i got given a sample so this is the bobby brown vitamin enriched base so this is supposed to be like a first step before makeup so i'm excited to try that and i've also got the becca first light priming filter instant collection refresh jesus christ it's a long name but i also got this as a sample so i'll be trying this out primers when i first got into makeup i was using a lot then i just got really lazy stopped using them didn't really notice a massive massive difference and now i'm back into primers again super important to try things out especially at this price point things are expensive you want to make sure you're happy with it before making, jumping the gun and buying that product. All right, guys, so that is my complexion collection. What did you think? Told you it's pretty manageable and I probably will be decluttering some as well because there's quite a bit of foundation releases already for the beginning of this year. There's already extensions, there's things I want to try. I just don't like having too many foundations. 
open at a time, if you know what I mean. Comment below your favorite part of the video or my, your favorite item in my complexion collection. If you enjoyed this video, I would love for you to give it a thumbs up. And if you want more videos like this, consider hitting that subscribe button down below. And if you're already subscribed, ring the bell so you don't miss any videos. Can't wait to see you back here again, guys. Bye.